Hello, everyone. My name is Sierra Myers, and I'm a clinical assistant professor in the Division of Clinical and Administrative Sciences at Xavier University of Louisiana College of Pharmacy, and I will be presenting my research project titled Risk Assessment of Antibiotic-Associated Adverse Effects in African Americans with MRSA Bacteremia. The study is funded by the Oshner Xavier Institute for Health Equity and Research, or OxyHer for short. The purpose of the OxyHer grant is to promote the use of Oshner Health's electronic health record or EPIC data for outcomes research and to encourage a greater number of minorities and other underserved populations to enroll in clinical research studies. Before we jump into the study, let's give a brief refresher on bacteremia. Bacteremia is the presence of bacteria in the bloodstream, often caused by a primary source of infection and may be complicated by the development of secondary infections. Methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, or MRSA, is a gram-positive cocci bacteria and has up to a 50% mortality rate according to the CDC. Depending on the source of infection, the Infectious Disease Society of America generally recommends initiating either intravenous vancomycin, daptomycin, or linezolid for the treatment of MRSA bacteremia. Before initiating this research question, we took a look at what was already in the literature and found some conflicting data. Studies by Sharma and colleagues and Boso and colleagues suggest that race is a factor for acute kidney injury and nephrotoxicity, rates with vancomycin use. While a study by Philippone and colleagues suggests demographic features are not found to be associated with this adverse reaction. The final study by Caffrey and colleagues suggests linezolid for the treatment of MRSA bacteremia was associated with a shorter length of hospital stay, which can reduce costs to healthcare systems, but a longer duration of therapy, which puts patients at higher risk for adverse effects. The primary endpoint of this study was to assess the incidence rates of known adverse drug events in African-American patients compared to Caucasian patients of three commonly used antibiotics for MRSA bacteremia. The secondary endpoint assessed inpatient mortality rates. This study is a multi-centered retrospective chart review using Oshner's electronic medical record. Patients admitted to the hospital from January 2015 to March 2021, who were 18 years of age or older, had confirmed MRSA bacteremia via blood cultures, and were treated with either vancomycin, daptomycin, or linezolid were included in this study. We excluded pregnant patients and patients with polymicrobial bacteremia. Of 1,164 patients that met inclusion criteria, 582 were African American with a mean age of 56 years old, majority were male with a high prevalence of history of hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, and renal disease. Baseline characteristics were matched in both groups using propensity score. The primary endpoint results of this study is broken down into the next three slides. P-values were considered significant if alpha was less than 0.05. 135 African-American patients experienced an adverse reaction with vancomycin compared to 156 Caucasian patients. These adverse events include infusion-related reactions, ototoxicity, and acute kidney injury. Of 122 patients treated with daptomycin, six African-American patients experienced rhabdomyolysis. 43 African-American patients experienced thrombocytopenia with linezolid use compared to 76 Caucasian patients with a p-value of less than 0.05. There were no patients reported with serotonin syndrome and linezolid use. For our secondary outcomes, the inpatient mortality rate was 34 African-American patients compared to 24 Caucasian patients with a p-value of 0.178. While the literature is conflicting, we found that rates of adverse effects of three commonly used antibiotics for the treatment of MRSA bacteremia were similar between African-American and Caucasian patients. Although clinically, African-Americans had a higher rate of inpatient mortality when diagnosed with this infection. Studies are limited regarding patient-specific antibiotic treatment choices based on adverse effect rates or clinical care. We believe these results shed some light on this medical question.
For future research, we hope to do a deeper dive on the factors driving higher inpatient mortality rates for African Americans with MRSA bacteremia. We also hope to assess the time to culture resolution between the groups based on which antibiotic they were treated with. We will also be conducting a cost-effective analysis between the three antibiotics. We believe additional studies would be beneficial to assess similar outcomes in patients with gram-negative bacteremia. Thank you to the audience for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed.